The day has finally come. The Fallout TV show teaser trailer just dropped. And as I've talked about multiple times in the past, I used to be a huge Fallout fan. Then Fallout 4 crushed any and all dreams I had, not just for Bethesda games, but for the future of the gaming industry. That might sound like hyperbole, but at the time, I was pretty devastated at how shallow and soulless it was. And although I grew up with Fallout 3 and loved it at the time, and honestly, I still think it's a pretty good game to this day, I think it's clear to anybody who is a fan of the original games or New Vegas that Bethesda never really understood Fallout. They never quite got the tone or the themes correctly. They overemphasized the retro 50s art style. And probably the most important thing they butchered is the fact that Fallout is supposed to be a post post apocalypse. People are supposed to be rebuilding society. And I'll go into that a bit more later into this video, but just knowing that Bethesda still owns the IP and it's Amazon of all companies making this show. And this is a friendly reminder that Amazon created Rings of Power, the worst Lord of the Rings adaptation of all time, to the point where it was just straight up fan fiction. You've likely seen a couple videos on it. Basically every content creator was covering it at the time. I knew this TV show didn't have a chance in hell of being any good. And so, like many other content creators making cheap, low-effort content, I'm going to make one of those gay-ass trailer breakdowns. So, look, I haven't made a video in over two weeks. I gotta release something. So without further ado, here is the teaser trailer for Amazon's Fallout. I know that I've lived a relatively comfortable life. Stop! Lucy! Alright, you knew I was gonna say something here. Female protagonist, that is a bad sign. You already know there's gonna be all sorts of corporate bootlickers and apologists saying, You could always create a female character. What's the problem with the TV show picking one? Or even worse, people pretending that a female character written in the modern times is gonna be anything other than a girl boss with toxic masculinity traits. Not until the pendulum swings back are we ever going to see a female character actually act like your average woman. Why? Because being feminine is sexist apparently. Liking girly things, acting girly, all just a social construct. There's no difference between the two biological sexes, etc, etc. Honestly, you don't even have to get overly political with this. All you have to do is have the ability to recognize patterns, to know that if the vast majority of female characters were written like men in modern movies and TV shows, this one is going to be no different. And to remind you once again, Amazon created Rings of Power. I don't think I need to elaborate any further. If you wanted me to actually comment on the vault, I don't really have much to say for the hell of it. I just looked up to see if Vault 33 has been used before. It hasn't. The actual set looks pretty good, I guess. Now, immediately, I already have a problem again. Now, this is something that some of you guys might not know, but this show actually takes place after Fallout 4 on the West Coast, no less. Are you starting to see the problem yet? If not, let me explain. So, a major plot point in Fallout New Vegas is that the NCR has basically become an established country at this point. They've become a mini United States. This takes place well over 200 years after the apocalypse, and it has already been established that the NCR rebuilt civilization to a degree. One of the major arguments in favor of letting the NCR rule the Mojave and New Vegas is that they have created peace on their borders. They are literally the good guy faction of that game, even though they have obvious issues, many of those issues being the same as our real life United States, like corruption. But within the new California Republic, it's supposed to be relatively peaceful. Now we never directly see how peaceful it is, of course, but just take a look at this next shot. You need to go home. Vault dwellers are an endangered species. 
I do not think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. That one didn't age quite so well. That's clearly LA, right? AKA the Boneyard in the Fallout universe. Well, by this time, it is an established state in the NCR. Just reading this straight off of the wiki. By 2189, the Boneyard became one of the states of the new California Republic. As one of the largest cities in NCR territory, it was a natural choice for many organizations to place their headquarters. Thus, by 2281, the Boneyard is host to the Republic Reserve and the followers Angels Boneyard Medical University, among many others. As the NCR now has control over the Boneyard, it has become much more stable with the buildings rebuilt, redecorated, and renovated. Now let's take a second look at that shot again. Does this look like one of the largest cities in the new California Republic? Yeah, like I said, Bethesda doesn't understand Fallout. Honestly, I would say the vast majority of Fallout fans don't understand Fallout because I'd say most of the current fans are Zoomers who have never played anything other than Fallout 3 or 4. If you have played New Vegas, you know this is not what it's supposed to be. It's well over 200 years after the end of the world, and yet it still looks like the bombs just fucking dropped. Why? Because Bethesda knows post-apocalypses are much more marketable and understandable to the lowest common denominator player than a world that is rebuilding long after the apocalypse. Still don't believe me? Just listen to this line in the trailer. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. <laughs> They're clearly still trying to sell this as untamed wilderness. And of course, dog meat is there because it's Fallout, you have to have dog meat. And now we have a whole nother problem that even more casual fans of the series would agree. Why the hell is the Brotherhood of Steel so big here? The new California Republic whooped their asses. Now, do I necessarily agree with that creative choice? No, because I love the Brotherhood of Steel because power armor is cool, which is obviously why they're here. But guys, this takes place in California after the events of New Vegas. The Brotherhood of Steel shouldn't even fucking exist in California at this point. Though I will say, the costumes look pretty good, the vertebrates are also cool. This next shot of the inside of the vault looks pretty great. Maybe a little bit too clean, obviously they're gonna say Vault 33 was another control vault, or had one of the more harmless experiments, which personally I think is pretty fucking boring. I think the reason why everyone likes the vaults is because of the horrific experiments that happen inside. Some of the most memorable parts of the Fallout games is exploring the old vaults. I mean, maybe they'll subvert my expectations and it'll be a more subtly sinister experiment, but I'm not holding my breath. Then the next shot, the settlement looks pretty good. I don't really have any complaints. I think I heard someone point out that that plane doesn't really fit the Fallout aesthetic, but I think I can let that slide. It looks pretty good, all things considered. Now we have another problem. Clearly, they're taking the ghoul design from Fallout 4 onward, where they look much more sterilized and far less disgusting. Part of the reason that so many people hated ghouls is because they look like rotting corpses. Fallout 3 actually understood this. They look fucking disgusting in that game. No, this guy looks like fucking John Hancock from Fallout 4, except they couldn't even give him colored contacts. Now, obviously, he's supposed to be a badass cowboy because, well, I can't blame Bethesda on this one. There were cowboys in New Vegas, more or less. So we could at least headcanon this to say it's a part of the NCR that is less populated. I'm sure there would be some spaghetti western looking towns, I guess. I could definitely suspend my disbelief for that. That's not really a complaint. Then we get to see that the vault overseer is a cyclops. 
So maybe I spoke too soon about it being a control vault, but I don't know. I don't really have much to say about this. Then we get rapid fire shots back to back of some action featuring an auto turret from Fallout 4. There's a Mr. Handy wheeling out our protagonist after she's presumably been injured. There's some more Brotherhood of Steel action. We get to see a Yao Guai tearing up a dude in power armor. Then we get to see some giant disgusting mutant. I don't even know what it's supposed to be, an axolotl or something? And it's got fucking fingers instead of teeth in its mouth. Obviously, they're trying to go for some kind of mutated abomination, but this thing just looks bizarre instead of scary. Then there's one of the vault chicks shooting a Sten gun in what looks like Vault 33. Then we get possibly the worst shot of the entire trailer. There's another fucking Pridwin. Why is there another goddamn Zeppelin base? Oh, I remember that. That was in Fallout 4. God, doesn't that just sum up the modern Fallout fan base in a nutshell? Then they decide to sneak in a little bit of race mixing propaganda in there. Yeah, don't think I didn't notice that. And then the final shot, we get to see the end of the world, the nukes dropping right on LA. Good, I wish that happened in real life. Nuke LA tomorrow, please. So what did I think of the trailer? Honestly, it could be entertaining. I'm not going to lie to you, but I have zero hopes for it. This is fucking Amazon. After Rings of Power, do you really trust them to handle an adaptation of your favorite thing? Just judging by this trailer, they already butchered the lore into oblivion. Oh, and if you're still delusional and are going to pretend this show is not going to be full of political commentary, articles released just a few days ago confirming that the show will feature heavy social commentary and will sidestep binary thinking on good and evil. The creator of the show, Jonathan Nolan, says, The games are about the culture of division and haves and have-nots that unfortunately, have only gotten more and more acute in this country and around the world over the last decades. We get to talk about that in a wonderful, speculative fiction way, he added. I think we're all looking at the world and going, God, things seem to be heading in a very, very frightening direction. Specifically, the series will provide commentary on people's morals and will do so through the character of Lucy, a vault dweller played by Ella Purnell. First, Nolan detailed, So many of us have such naive ideas, even now, about everyone else's experiences. And it's one of the things I love about America. It's this giant manic collection of different experiences, different points of view. He then explained how the show will use Lucy to moralize to viewers. Lucy is charming and plucky and strong. And then you see she's confronted with the reality of, hey, maybe the supposedly virtuous things you grew up with are not necessarily that virtuous. If they are virtuous, they're couched in a circumstantial virtuousness. It's a luxury virtue. You have your point of view because you never ran out of food, right? You guys were able to share everything because you had enough to share. And now for arguably the worst part of this article of all... Todd Howard, the director of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, and currently the executive producer of Bethesda Game Studios, the developer of the Fallout series, confirmed the series would also be in canon with the games. We view what's happening in the show as canon, he said. That's what's great when someone else looks at your work and then translates it in some fashion. In fact, the show will reportedly provide an origin for the iconic Vault Boy logo. Howard described this origin as really smart. Yeah, so for all the reasons I've already pointed out in this video, this show can't be canon. So I guess Bethesda has gotten to the point where they're so arrogant, they're gonna take a massive fucking dump on Fallout 1, 2, and New Vegas, made by the original creators of the fucking game. But no, they bought the IP, now they're going to shit all over the real fucking series. If anything, Bethesda's games aren't fucking canon, and neither is this show. I'm starting to wonder if they're going to pull a plot point out of their ass that the new California Republic collapsed and everything turned into a wasteland again. Because you can't show off LA being completely uninhabited and covered by desert when they've already established that it's a city at this time. And so yeah, I have zero hopes for this show, I expect the worst, and so should you if you're still using the pattern recognition part of your brain, because I know many of you out there turned that off a long time ago. 
but I just need to get a quick video out there. The next video will probably be the GTA 6 trailer, because apparently that's coming out on Tuesday. So look forward to that. See you next time, guys.